how to use Zendrop for dropshipping. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the dropshipping tutorial on how to use Zendrop for your dropshipping business. So let's get into it. Now, dropshipping is a really great business model that a lot of people are following nowadays because it helps you to create revenue without having your own actual product. So this is how you get started with Zendrop for your business. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on sign up for free over here on Zendrop, and then you're going to register your account. So we're just going to go on to their sign up form and from here you're just going to fill out your name and all of your personal details so i'm just going to do that and once you have done that you're just going to add your monthly revenue that you want and then you're going to accept the terms and conditions and then we're just going to continue to our sign up over here and this is how easy it is for you to sign up on zendrop so right now we have already signed up you have your e-commerce platform ready so you can connect a store to zendrop you're going to see this yellow bar on the top so if you click on this you can add your shopify woocommerce or commerce hq store so whatever e-commerce platform that you're using to uh, sell your items, you can connect that over here. But I'm going to show you how to get started with Zendrop and actually navigate through the world or dashboard of Zendrop. So on your top, you find your dashboard. So you have your basic dashboard and then you have your product list, you have import list, my products and orders. So in your dashboard, you're gonna have all of your basic information like orders fulfilled, the overall cost, the sales, the profit that you're generating. You're gonna get a basic overview. Then you have your fine products list, which I'm going to talk about in detail but before that you have your import list so any of the items that you're currently importing that you want to import you can leave them in this list and you, then you can reconsider if you want to add this to your e-commerce store then you have your my product section where all of the products that you're selling on your store via zendrop are going to be placed and then you have your orders so these are going to be all of the orders that are going to come from your website you can view them right over here on your zendrop dashboard so after that on your right side you have your chat you have your academy and then you also have your connect to store button then you have your basic settings about the account building notifications branding bundles and boxes so you can customize that as well but the first thing you're going to need to know is how to find products on zendrop so you're just going to go into the find product section and this is where you're going to spend most of your time on zendrop this is one of the most essential things you need to do once you're establishing your business from zendrop is you're going to have to find good products and you want to make sure that you're finding a product that is going to sell good and that is actually at a comparatively low price. So let's say um, Valentine's Day is coming up or any kind of holiday is coming up. So you're just going to go into the search product section and let's say I want to search for rose. Maybe I want something rose themed. Now this depends on the overall aesthetic of your store. Now if you have like a jewelry store, you can search for jewelry. If you have like a, a variety store, you can search for random items. If you want, you know, specific item categories you can just click on the category section over here and filter it out so if you want this to be like um, carnival supplies or food or gaming jewelry or watches so you can select the specific category of item that you want and then you have your suppliers as well so you can choose the kind of suppliers you want right now i wouldn't recommend you do that but you need to select where it ships from so if you want a smaller shipping time then you're going to select from shipping from the us or if you're okay with longer shipping times then you can continue with china if you select shipping from china then you're going to get lower prices but if you ship from the us you are going to get higher prices as well so you need to keep that into consideration once you are choosing your product and then you also have your price range filter so you can apply whatever kind of uh items you want so if you want expensive like higher priced items where you can create uh, larger profit margins you can offer those or you can offer quantity over profit margins where you're going to have to sell a lot more stuff to make higher profits but you're going to be able to sell out quickly now i just searched for a rose and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look at the different options I have over here and taking a look uh I see this rose scrub and this is actually an interesting item uh oh this product has been removed so it was an interesting item it was like a rose scrub so I'm going to look for something else along that line and this is actually pretty cute this is like paw earrings rose gold paw earrings and you can see over here that the product cost is two dollars and the uh shipping is from usa shipping within usa will be 10 to 15 days and international shipping will be around 10 to 15 days as well the cost is this and then you have express shipping as well and what you can do is you can click on add to import list 
and then this will be placed in your import list and then you can later on shortlist your items so you can go back into your fine product section you can just browse the trends you can browse the popular items and then later on uh, skim them out from your import list so let's click on shop trends and you can find the latest and most searched for items so you can see this is actually pretty cute these are polarized glasses so you can see these are available in different colors as well. So I'm going to add this to my import list. Now, once you have a selection of items that you want to pick out, what you're going to do is once you have this product in your import list, you can determine if you want to add it to your store or not. So if you want to add it to your store, you're just going to change the product name, add new tags, and then you can click on import to store. So it will be directly linked onto your Shopify, WooCommerce, or any other kind of platform or e-commerce store that you have linked. You can import it. Now you can see that you have not only the product but you also have a description you have the variants of the product so these polarized glasses have four variants and then you also have the images of the product so you can choose which images you want to display and which ones you don't want to display onto your website now the thing about importing products is that you need to understand if you're getting a good deal when you're using Sendrop, although it is a great tool, now what I would recommend is that you also go on to AliExpress and then you take a look at the item that you're selecting to import and then you search for that item on AliExpress as well because although Sendrop is great at what it does, you can sometimes get higher prices for a uh, item that might not be as popular on AliExpress and you might be able to find it for a lot cheaper on AliExpress. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you actually search for that item on aliexpress as well so i'm going to search for like a very similar kind of item so i'm just going to search for square polarized sunglasses over here and i'm going to look at the options so i'm going to find something that looks as close to the image that i selected so this doesn't look so good for big heads so these two look pretty similar so this is for 334 and this is for eight dollars and 79 cents and zendrop is actually giving me a far better deal on this product because zendrop is giving me this product for six dollars so i'm getting it for six dollars and you know it depends on what kind of shipping i'm going to opt for the actual product price is five dollars and two cents while on aliexpress is going to be eight dollars and 79 cents so you need to make sure that you're doing a quick comparison from a direct retailer like aliexpress and sendrop and make sure that you're getting the best deal on your products as well so this is how you use zendrop for drop shipping and selecting products and adding to your store so once you have determined what you want you can actually set your prices as well so maybe if i want to create a larger profit so i'm getting the product at five dollars and these are the shipping costs depending on wherever the person that orders the product lives what i'm going to do is maybe i want to market these as luxury sunglasses and maybe i want to just charge fifty dollars in that situation i'm going to be getting forty dollars in profit so you can rebrand items like this and create more profits as well and once you have done all of this variation on how you want these to appear on your website you're just going to click on import to store and then you can import it to your e-commerce platform now the last thing that i would like to talk about is the branding of your item so if you go on to branding you can create specific branding and you can add a logo you can add a title and message of your brand you can add a company address and an email as well and if you go on to your bundles and boxes you can determine what kind of product bundles you want to create or subscription boxes you want to create with drop shipping items so that is another great thing that will simplify your business and help you create a more interesting business from drop shipping as well other than just you know creating basic kind of items you could create bundles and you can create subscription boxes as well so that is another great feature that zendrop provides for you to make more variations in your drop shipping business so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video